<laughs> Fuck me ass, bitch. <laughs> I wipe the table. I don't want to be wet. I'm about to bed. Turn my swag on. I look in the mirror and say, "What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up?" I what's wonder up? if um C is watching this. I thought that's what I was gonna do this morning when I hopped up out the bed, but I didn't. Oh. I wonder if C is watching this. Before I get into that, let me at least say hi. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, y'all. And we are back for an all-new video. Yes, I know it is. seems like you just Monday. saw us. Back at y'all. You just saw us yesterday, which is a fact, but still a couple more things we had to uh, discuss, and I didn't want to get any messages about how we did not do a video. Right. But... Let me tell y'all how I was attacked by the Sea Hive today. Who is that? C and her people on her YouTube page. Oh, ha ha ha! So I I'm looking about Sea Squad because I was ready to come with hot sauce <laughs> and whip some ass. So you know, when I was talking to her recently, she somehow came up with the idea that I don't watch her videos. So today, when I watched her video, I said, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I comment." So as soon as the video comes on, she's singing Lemonade, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, I, so I comment, don't sing. Somebody came out of there, bitch, something, 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 something. So you know me, because when it's my my page, huh, just know, I will get that ass together, okay? But C came and commented and was like, oh, no, 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 chill. That's my friend, chill fam. And she will come to me like, I bet you won't do that no more to see how I'm going to get you. You don't know about the show hive, do you? You don't want them up in them comments. You do not right. want my monsters up in the A. Right. Yo, C dot C T. Ah! <laughs> Go get that. It's answers. about to be a war. It's about comment. to be a war. I was like, see, you don't even have my back. She like, you started it. Yo. That's so funny. Whatever, but before we start the video, yesterday I went to go get these new M&M's because I'm a big M&M fan. And I've been saying the commercials for a while now. I was like, why don't we try them on the show? So the first ones are Coffee Nut. Wait, that's I got something to drink. What is they nasty? You, Tanea, do not act crazy. Either way, it's chocolate. Just chew and keep going. You know I cannot chew and swallow things that I don't like. Smell. Oh wait, are they they all brown? What the hell? Okay, they're they're all brown and beige and stuff. Okay. I'll try a beige one. I mean, Give me uh, the melanin one. It literally tastes like you bit a coffee. Tastes like you bit coffee. Well. Well. No, and think I love coffee. I drink it every morning. I don't enjoy it. Not at all. I don't think they that bad. It just really tastes like it coffee. It tastes burnt. It tastes like something burnt. Okay, these are honey nuts. Those are the ones I really want to taste. Okay, these only come in certain colors too. All right. And here's a yellow. Oh, I'll Hold take them. Why do they only come in yellow? They're in yellow, brown, and black. Probably less dye. I'm not sure. Probably like, what's the point of using all that dye on trial picks? Did you taste the difference? I think the coffee was too much in my mouth. It kind of tastes like a honey nut cereal. Mmm, nice. I guess. Nice and smooth. Guys, make sure you go out there and get those M&Ms. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot going on right now. Yikes, I definitely should have had it. But anyway. Of course, I'll put that ass had to eat candy on the show, but hey, y'all. Don't waste y'all dollars. You know, I'm happy that a lot of you are really enjoying the Lemonade review because that was just the start. That was really just the start. Like, I have so much more to say about Beyonce. What? Your sister is a true nut. 
My sister just texts Sinead and asked, <laughs> does she think that Beyonce's hair is a lace front? The cornrows are frontal. Oh, uh, frontal because she wants some. I'm not even going to deal with that right now, but I am still basking in the glory of lemonade. Mm -hmm. Like every, I can't even say each day because it hasn't, it, it hasn't been that many days. Every fucking hour something different. I see something different. That's like, what I love about me, Beyonce. Like, you constantly discover new things. When am I going to stop? Like, and then Never. we were talking about little moments that make you want to faint during it. And little things that really just make you want to fall the fuck out. I have a few real quick. Okay. Um, okay, so I went and listened again, of course. I've listened since I did the review last night. I've probably listened to the album about eight more times. But, um, the end of Six Inch when she's on, um, uh, she's like, saucy, go away. That ending, it just takes me somewhere else. Miss Tina in All Night Long. Oh, that picture of her? No, that just a little clip of her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So beautiful. Hey, get away! You really, you, you move. She's attack. Look what she, I don't have any shoes on. Move. You little stupid. Girl. Get up, move. Come on, don't fuck on the Eminem's to them. She gonna lay on her fucking fat ass bag. Let let her say this. Yo, I swear to God, if she if she scrapes me, I'ma rock her. Um, I, I'm just gonna get into the show because I, I keep, I keep... I'm sorry, Tiffany. No, it's fine. It's, I'm getting quite used to it, but, um... I understand. You were attacked by the cat. But, like, it was like in the middle of me talking, you were screaming. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm still on a lemonade high. Um, I'm not sure when I'm coming down. Lemonade went on iTunes last night, and it is literally swallowing the charts and mm -hmm. I mean swallowing to the point where when you look at the top singles it's just like Beyonce 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 a lot of people are excited because formation is trending number one on iTunes and people you know the Beehive was pissed off that she didn't put that shit on right. iTunes so they are so fucking excited about her being at the top and so am I and now they're saying she that she deserves to be at the top now they said that the physical copy was going to come out sometime this week but now I'm hearing that it's going to come out sometime next week either way the uh, Amazon link for you to pre-order it has already come out so I know it's coming um, I want that album art I want to see it yeah I'm really looking forward to I'm really hoping that they sell it at Target I don't want to wait online. Like, right. I literally want to walk into Target and get it. I mean, if they give me the date, then I can just be prepared. You know, the doors open at 8. I'll be there at 7.55. It's that simple. But, you know, everything with Beyonce is just a secret. A fucking secret. So, I'm really excited. But uh, moving on to some more exciting news and secrets. Drake and Future will uh, be going on tour this summer, and I'm just really excited. I just have a complaint, though. What? I have a complaint. I'm just really tired of no time. Like, I mean... Like, no warnings. Like, you, you got two weeks to get your money together. Ain't no, no two weeks, weeks then. No, I'm just saying, like, you don't give us nothing. We don't know nothing. You, your album not even out, Rihanna, and you giving out fucking tour dates. Beyonce too. So the thing about it is, go ahead. The tour goes on sale on Friday, and you just announced it today. Like, what type of money do you people think that we? But had? the thing is, the tour is available on Friday, and so is views. Right. So I gotta buy your album and buy your goddamn tickets in one day. It's too much. And motherfucker, Mother's Day is coming up in two weeks. We don't have funds like you where we can buy our motherfucking island and still, you know, go to Paris next week if we want to. It's annoying. It's just, it's, it's, it's annoying and it's very stressful. Like I said on a couple videos ago, the whole surprise thing is kind of, I'm done with it. Like, I mean, we can stick Beyonce with it. Like, we can just say that that's going to be her routine for the rest of her life, but I don't need the rest of you all jumping Everybody on Everybody else. Yeah. 
No. Especially my faves, Beyonce, Drake, Adele, Jasmine Sullivan. I don't need that right now. I just, I don't. I need to know so that I can prepare. And then it's like, you can't wait till Saturday or next week. Because they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. I've never been to a Drake concert. He never brings his light skin ass to Baltimore. Why won't you come to Baltimore, Drake? Right. That's my whole thing. Come to Baltimore, Drake. We want to see you here. Why won't you come to Baltimore? Like, I don't understand. We have an arena. Can I ask the DMV? Like, ask that Washington crap. Come to Baltimore. I mean, I understand that Washington's arena is bigger than ours, but at the same time, Drake, why? Like... You could even make more money this way. We like, should have told you to come to Baltimore. She had a turn up, a stand up time. She actually said we was better than DC. Have y'all ever gone to a concert, sang your heart out, jumped up and down, lost all energy, and then had to drive to another city to get back home? That night, it's crazy. It's just not fun. So like, I'm already thinking, like, what am I going to do? Thank God, no, because I don't even know if my friend Simone is going with us. Oh my right, god, you're the only driver. Oh no, Tori. Oh yeah, Tori might be going. Good. Yeah, because I just can't. And it's like, if Tori going to drive, she can't turn up but so much. And she really like to drink. It's just Drake. We like to turn up. Now, at the same time, I'm just like, what is this concert going to be given? Yo! What is this concert going to be given? Drake and Future? Like, B-G-O-V-O. We could possibly get the whole What a Time to Be Alive Yo, album I will live my mind. See, the thing is, I'm trying to calm down because if y'all thought, like, I was excited about a Beyonce concert, because the thing is, I've been to Beyonce, like, I know what to expect. I know they expect a great time. Like, the thing is, I know. Right. A Beyonce concert is almost like Christmas. Right. You know Christmas is going to be a turn up. You just don't know what you're going to get on Christmas. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. <sighs> that was a good explanation. Right. Um, I've never been to a Drake concert. Me neither. Like, I don't know what the, the last person, I mean, I talked to somebody who went to the last one in D.C. and they said it was like a big party. A big party. So I feel like I definitely need to be a part of that. Like, the thing about it is my love for Drake is so strong. I have to be in the same building, breathing the same air as him at least one time in my life. I'm just wondering, are they going to do it like Bow Wow and Omarion, where they perform songs together and then, you know, they go back and forth Probably. like Drake has a set, Future has a set, then they do something together, or is it Future's opening and Drake's doing the rest? No, he didn't say he was his opener. It's the FBG, Oleo, All Summer 16. Well, I, all, all Summer 16 is Drake's number one. Number two, everybody that I've talked to keeps saying I'm going to the Drake concert. Like nobody said well, because the Drake I don't. Concert. I, I before I found out it was the Drake and Future concert, I just thought it was the Drake concert. Yeah. So no, I mean today that's all I saw people saying. It's I like, mean because some people are still just going for Drake. Like Future is a nice time, but like if Future wasn't going, I would still be going. Definitely. So that's why they probably still saying the Drake concert. So. Also, Views from the Six comes out on this Friday, and I'm going to really stress the fuck out because it's like, Drake, how do you come out the same time Beyonce does? Like, it's a lot for me. It's a lot for me. Like, how do I learn both layers? Well, let me tell you something. I'm at a good... Already. I'm at a good 60%. Yeah, I feel like I'm at a 60% a sixty right, right now. Like, it's a lot of words I still need to know for me. But I'm a, if I had to go to the concert Friday, I would be good. If I had to go to the concert on Wednesday... Yes, I meant. I would be turned all the way the fuck up. It's so many people like, she didn't even give us time to learn the lyrics. Fuck you. Yeah. I know plenty. I'll be one of them bitches that had Beyonce in tears again because I'll be singing every fucking right. word. And, 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 and like you in the fucking crowd so y'all can actually start making up shit. Like I was about to say in the words I didn't know, I'd be moving my mouth that way. Oh, you know how Rihanna do, sing. Put the mic back. I'm going to sing. You sing, B. I'm going to sing. You sing, B. It's going to be so, just like that. It's definitely Drake week, and I'm really, really excited about that. But it's all, all summer. It's just, it's week. too much. I cannot take Drake and Beyonce at the same time. Why would they do it? It's way too much. Like, now I'm starting to wonder, Drake, why did you cancel the 16th? Like, 
At least I could have got you out of my system a little no, bit. No, see, no. No, no, no. Because the thing about it is you already know, like, when Drake come out, you don't get him out of your system in no week. I could have had some of him, Tanea. Mm, no, I'm actually fine with this. Because that means... Because y'all remember when Kanye and Rihanna came out? My It was literally Kanye and Rihanna on repeat. Back and forth. It'll be Beyonce and Drake on repeat. Back and forth. Oh my my two top favorites? Hmm. I've been waiting <laughs> for a minute. Right. Yes, Let's I've been waiting. I, I, I can't. I really can't. Um, throughout this video, I'm going to be giving little lemonade facts and <laughs> just crying or something about lemonade. Back to lemonade. Okay, so today some information came out that, I mean, it wasn't just information. They had like a small little video of it. Somebody is at the Miami, uh, Miami Arena sneaking pictures. I am grateful for you, but at the same time, don't, don't be get disrespectful. Up. Don't be disrespectful. You're giving away too much. She has a revolving... Uh, a revolving screen, like a screen that's going to be big as like the the uh the screen. Is that the big? Is that the screen that's like a rectangle shape and it's real big? Yeah. I saw a picture of it, but I, I didn't read it to see what it was. Yeah, it's supposed to move around. See, the thing is, Beyonce. Okay. You know, when I was at the Rihanna concert, I was thinking to myself, "Oh my God!" Like Rihanna's finally stepping her light game up. Be what you gonna do next, like because now it's like people. I think from coming and seeing your concert and being inspired, mm -hmm. that's fine because I watch YouTubers who have thousands more views than I do, and I quickly get inspired and like, oh, right. I did this. So I was just thinking like Beyonce, they've been watching, they're starting to get their lighting better. What we gonna do next? A screen that turns? I mean, you didn't already turn the whole fucking floor into a movie screen before. Fucking walls and it's just amazing. Beyonce, amazing. I also it is also reported that Beyonce has asked to use several um, media outlets who were against formation who had bad things to say about Beyonce, mm -hmm. and they're actually going to play at the tour. Oh, that's gonna be nice. If she bring, I mean, if she had that girl, you remember that girl, that white lady that was talking about her real bad, like Tommy or yeah, mm -hmm. or something like. If that bitch come on that screen, Lord, Beyonce won. I mean, well, Beyonce already won, but but that's just like how she had. Um, you remember when she had like Wendy Williams on there for the uh, last show? It's gonna be like that a little bit. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, Beyonce is Petty Beyonce is back. Petty Beyonce is back. Know that y'all know she's a Virgo. Jealous or crazy? That's all, that's all I got to say. Um, let's talk about Birdman real quick. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how to do Birdman. Put some respect. Put some respect on his name. On my name. All three y'all. All three y'all. Um, how do we feel about Birdman? Um, I honestly feel like Birdman was having a bad day. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed and he took it out on the breakfast club because what I'm saying is it was really no reason for his outburst. He literally was there all but 90 seconds. Well, the video is literally actually two minutes and like 36 seconds. Well, he's he they said he he said that I mean I, somebody I right. Going in, he was upset because they've had so many negative things to say about him recently. Where'd you go for then? I mean, well, well, he went to, um, you know, the clear his name. Right. But the thing about it is, it's radio. That's just like, you, like, that's just like Michael Jackson being upset at Chris Tucker for talking about him doing comedy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a radio, like, that's what they do. And the thing about it is, you act like you and Lil Wayne wasn't just beefing. You act like we all didn't know Lil Wayne was suing that ass for like $27 million. Mm -hmm. That's something to talk about. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm having issues. You act like um, Lil Wayne wasn't talking about leaving you and taking Drake and Nicki Minaj, your money makers. Like... It was all something to talk about. So if anything, put some respect on it. You just need to be talking to Lil Wayne. Now, when I watched it, I just was embarrassed. Like, 
first of all, I mean, I don't want to call you Birdman or Baby. What's the money, Brian? Brian? It's just too much, like... I mean, I don't want to say too much because I don't want you to come and it's shoot the me. the Birdman, baby. But it's like, you have a thousand tattoos on your face. You speak with... I don't even know what to call your language. Like... Um, it's, it's something made up. Respect me. Where do you live at? He's from New Orleans. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That makes a lot That's, of sense. No shade. Country. No shade it's to a, anybody it's watching. Country, it's the country but, um, accent. I just was embarrassed. And, I mean, I took some time to think about it. Because at first I was just like, I was nervous. Because... Birdman is that type of shiesty ass nigga to have somebody run up on Charlemagne. He's also a businessman too. And I'm not the biggest Charlemagne fan, but it was just like, come on, Char, just shh, be quiet. I actually like the both of them. But so at the pool. yeah, at the same time though, it's like you not going to come on this show and you know basically shut us down, like shut the conversation down, put some respect on my name, all three of y'all. And, and then, I'm not going to say nothing. The thing is, put some respect on my name. Then folded his arms and pouted. Like he ain't had nothing else to say. So you literally came on this show and say, put some respect on my name. And then straight was like, let's bounce. Right. What did you come for? But here's the best you part. You could have called in. He called to apologize. He, he has snorted a couple of lines. See, the thing about these celebrities are these apologies blow my fucking mind. Like, I mean, I know we all have to be adults and we have to grow up, but y'all be apologizing too fucking fast. And I be wondering why y'all did the shit that y'all did just to fucking just apologize. Just to apologize. I don't... It was stupid. And people like Birdman need to stay away from um, the fucking Breakfast Club and all, and all interviews, period. You know, Birdman is... I mean, I almost forgot about this. I mean, of course he's here for the... Yes, I said it. I mean, of course he's always going to be known for the iconic and the young money and the little Wayne and stuff. But I What mean, happened to that boy? What Ooh, happened to him? What happened to that boy? Where the fuck he been at? Making fucking money. Fucking Keisha Cole. He fucking Keisha Cole? You remember that time he was fucking Keisha Cole? Keisha Cole came home and saw his assistant and she whooped his ass? I mean, she whooped the assistant's ass and went to jail? <laughs> no. Y'all, that just came out, like, last year. We probably talked about it. We too. did. No, I forgot. Because we was like, baby, what you doing fucking bitches like Keisha Cole? Like, um, I fucked with baby. I love the whole cash money. I'm a 2000 and a 99. I all that. I'm down. So. Do we want to talk about Lil' Kim's new face? Can I tell y'all something? And this is not a joke. I'm not trying to be funny. Literally, when I saw that picture, those pictures of Little Cam, I thought it was Justin Bieber with a lace front on. I had to look twice. What the fuck is going on with her face? First of all, it's come out that she suffers some some type of disorder where she's not comfortable with the type of... I mean, she's not comfortable, period, with the way her face looked back in the day and she has an obsession these type of people have an obsession with constantly trying to fix you and know change what it's their called? face you want to know what it's called it's a name for it rich bitch insecure problems that's what it's called because when you're a rich ass bitch and you're insecure you can pay for that shit but when you are a broke ass bitch and you're ugly only thing you can do is go find an ugly nigga and suck his dick and become his girlfriend that's all you can do Y'all comments always be like, stop interrupting Tanea. We want her to talk. No, I'm just saying. We want her to talk. This is. <laughs> I'm just saying, ugly people can't do it. I mean, broke people can't do that. I mean, that's true, but I kind of feel bad for her. I mean, her face today, this is as wild as it can. I mean, it can get wilder, but she not, she looks like a plastic Ken doll in the face. Like, it's a weird. Did she see what you, you remember the, um, the human Ken doll? Yeah. Did y'all see what just happened to him recently? What his fucking nose fell off from all of his surgeries. Yeah, it, it, it's bad, but... Like, the thing about it is, Kim... I told y'all, I think on the video at first, Kim didn't change her look so much, I don't even know if her baby look like her. Yeah. Like, I don't know who the baby look like. Yeah, every time I the, see the baby, I be like, that's... And the thing about it is, um, little Kim... You are a beautiful, you were a beautiful young lady when you was first out with the wigs and the stuff. It was a nice time, because I read that thing when she was like, yeah, a lot of the men that I date like Caucasian women. See, the problem 
is you was dating Biggie so long who fucked with a light-skinned girl. Oh you was his God. side chick for so many years. It fucked your brain up. You need to stop being a side chick. That also fucks, on, uh, fucks around on your insecurities also. You need to stop being a side chick. Be a main chick. Because if you're a main chick, your man is going to tell you how much he loves you and how beautiful you are. Whereas you're a side chick, you always trying to be with what the main nigga got. You understand what I'm saying? Does Come, that make sense? I, I, absolutely. And I hope that everybody else got that too. The thing is, little Kim, we all have our insecurities. And the thing is, if you're just so bad to where you have to keep on spending thousands of dollars to get nipped and tucked so you can be in pain for weeks to look at some type of masochist, you're like a masochist, and you need to go see somebody. You need some help. Because the thing is, once you do these things, they can't be reversed. That's the now, and that's the thing. Like I want to get my butt done. Once I get my butt done, if I don't like it no more, I can get that sucked out. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Or like implants. If I got butt implants, if I don't want it anymore, take them right out, fix my skin up. Can you tell me what you mean when you say get your butt done? Because you're not getting butt implants, right? No, I'm not getting butt implants. What I want to do is I want to go to a plastic surgeon. Preferably Dr. Sage. I found him on um, Instagram. And I want to get the maximum amount of fat sucked out of my fupa and back and put into my ass. <laughs> Can you tell them what a fupa is? Everybody does The know. fat above the pussy area. <laughs> Why couldn't you just say my stomach? No, because it's a difference. Fupa is stomach too. Fupa is the part of your stomach that hangs above above the vagina area. Fat above area. Fupa. Alright, um moving oh, on. Oh no, it's fat upper. Fat upper area. Either way, it's that piece of fat that hangs over your vagina. Lil Kim, I just wanted to say that I thought you were gorgeous. Back in the day. I Me think that was too. your prettiest. She had black hair, thick eyebrows, the mole, always Yo, had the lip the liner. The you video. Beautiful. Kim, Lil' Kim was li literally at her. I wish she was here so I could just tell I'm her. I'm not even there. We can go back to um get money. Like, get Either money. Line. What the nose the bitches, Get, like... I just, I, I, after I saw the picture of her today, I was like, wow, like, this bitch is too far gone. It's, 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 I it didn't know who she was. Proud. It looks like a Halloween costume. And that's why I want Kim K to look at her face and, t do you want to be like that? Okay. Stop it. Um, moving on to, uh, how are we feeling about Prince already being cremated? That's what he wanted to do, and I think he's cremated so they can't do, like, a second autopsy or anything on his ass. That's a. That's as soon as I found out he was cremated. You think they hiding something? No, I just feel like they don't want the people of his family don't want him to do a second one. Like it's rude and it's invasive. And the thing about it is, if like the courts were to get into it and think that his death was not. A call, like you know if it wasn't natural causes and they feel like somebody tried to do something the courts can order a second autopsy well you can't order a second autopsy if the body's gone like stop disrespecting my family he is gone let it be what it be I mean you see how many times they was opening up Michael Jackson right. and Ian Bobby Christine hold on and and I, it's, um, it's Prince of Jehovah's Witness cause I think they don't play that I don't I think he is yeah I gotta find out and um, I saw that uh, they gave out purple boxes that he had for all the fans that was already made up or something that was outside Paisley Park. I'm really starting to think that Prince knew he was about to die. He probably did. That's probably why he came home. That's just spent his crazy. last couple of day days in peace. Well, because why did he have anybody at his home with him? Yeah, that's a big ass place too. Right. But now they're saying that they're about to open it as a museum. They should. I want to go. I would. Love I want to go. Taking any for Mother's Day. I want to go. Not this year, of course, but where is um Minneapolis even on the map at? In Lake Minnetonka. But wait, I mean, like, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's in the middle, I think. 
Like close to what? Anybody you want to hear watching Minnesota, from Minnesota, you know. From um, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, whatever the fuck. But um, I say whatever the fuck because that's rude. I wasn't saying it in a disrespectful it way. Is, it sounds. I mean, if y'all say Baltimore, Maryland, whatever the fuck, I'm not going to be feeling no type of way. It's in the Midwest. It is bordering Can Canada. Oh, right by South Dakota, North Dakota. South Dakota. Wisconsin. She want that accent so bad. It's you know? so sickening. I love it. It's so cute. All right, um, so we can finish. I, I was I was kind of sad to find out that he already got a, um, what you call it? Because to me, I just be wanting them all to have like these big extravagant funerals. That's not what he like wanted. Whitney Houston did, so that I can be a part of it. Like I wish every. Well, at least the biggest celebrities' funerals were on TV because I really want to attend and pay my respects. You didn't want that. I really attended Whitney Houston's funeral from mm, this uh, yes. dining room. And my We were in all black. I don't. Well, Tanae wasn't. You had on a blue shirt. But she was really in mourning. She oh. cried, Whitney. I think I shouted too. But um, this weekend, my friends actually got to watch Purple Rain. I didn't get to because I had to leave out the house. I saw Purple Rain so many times this weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to watch it sometime this week. But I did want to go to the movies to see it, so I don't know. I might still. I just feel like I might have a good time in the movies. Yeah, watching. that's gonna be nice. No commercials. Right. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, anything else? Fifty Cent has a new son that just popped up out of nowhere. You know what? I mean, I really wasn't surprised because I really feel like a whole bunch of these, uh, especially rappers, had children all over the uni United States, all over the world. I'm sorry. The thing is, don't let me get pregnant with your baby because I'm doing a Chris Brown mother. You want to know when I'm like three months. So you can't get an abortion? I'm not getting an abortion. If you get pregnant with like rich homie Quan or young thug baby, you're not getting abortion. Now, first of all, I'm not fucking with <laughs> one of them. They look like giant size fucking monsters. And I will fuck rich homie Quan before I ever even touch a young thug. And I don't have any. All right, all right, all right. Rich homie Quan. Who would before. you rather do? Would you rather. All right, let's play fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> I hate this game. Young thug, rich homie Quan, or Fetty Wap? Mm, I would probably marry Fatty Wap, fuck Rich Homie Kwan, kill Young Thug. <laughs> so I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's easy. It's easy. Oh, let's do another one. Let's do another one. No, I All don't right, wait, 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 wait. It's gay. Fuck Mary Kill, Rich Dollars, Pete Guns, and Soldier Boy. I'm killing Pete Guns. I'm fucking Soldier Boy. I'm marrying Rich Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not marrying Rich Dollars. <laughs> So like, I don't want to marry Pete Guns either. Yeah, he's a cheating ass. He got seven kids, so that means that their mothers could probably, if we get married, the money's going to come out my my account. I'm going to have to pay child support. I don't got time for that. He got too many kids. But Rich has a small penis, so you'll be stuck with a small penis for the rest of your life. I will cheat on him just like he will cheat on me, and it'll be a beautiful relationship. Well, there you had it. You look like your mother. Jesus. Jesus. I thought you was gonna say you look like me. Oh no, you look like your mother. Um, I don't wanna play any more fuck Mary Kill because I would kill all of them. I mean it's so easy for me. Whose baby would you rather be pregnant by with right now? Rich Pete Guns or Soldier Boy? If you had to be pregnant by one of them. Rich. And if I had to be pregnant by anybody, it would probably be Soldier Boy. He got the most money. That's true. Soldier Boy has the most money, and he's not that bad looking anymore. He's not it's, that good looking either. It's Even now before, with the tattoos before and the crack. he still wasn't. But his jeans and Hey, he I will have a yeah. real fugly baby. Do he got any kids? No. Cause then it'd be his first kid. I'm definitely getting pregnant by him. Well, there you have it. Um, I don't think we have anything else to discuss. I did want to say how disgusted I was with the city of New York. Um, I think it was New York where Tamir Rice. Uh, oh yeah, what where Tamir Rice was. They gave um the family a settlement. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. If I have it, I did have it. Oh, are you not going to talk about Rachel Roy? Oh yes, that bitch. First, let me um. Yeah. Okay. Cause I, somebody said you got a um anonymous question. 
Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me just pull this up because I don't want to um, say the wrong thing. Do you need us? I yeah, I'll be keys. They, I don't right know. If not, they are upstairs. They have stairs. You might have to tell what's one up, of the kids What's up? What's up? What's up? I think I got some. With a car. I'll back. Sorry, y'all. I, um, I right, can't you find it. Put I can't find it, but I think it was like twelve million. I, I hate course. that I'm doing that. Uncle Al, don't beat me up. I usually do have the facts right in front of me. I'm sorry. Blame it on lemonade, but it's still disgusting because I didn't like it when it happened with Freddie Gray. I don't like it with this shit. No amount of money can bring their child back. No justice for Tamir Rice, and I feel some type of way. I just right. want to jump I mean, that. yeah, it's sad. It's, it's sad. disgusting. It's disgusting. So about this question. Um, from an anonymous person, it says, Ask Tiffany. Right. I text. See, See you later. Ask Tiffany what and how she will attack Rachel Roy. And the person also says, I feel like her kids shouldn't be attacked. If I saw Rachel Roy in the streets, I would straight grab my hot sauce, a bat, and proceed to beat the shit out of her face. No, first, before I scale. beat her face in, I want that bitch to know who I am. I want to take her by her You're fucking really neck scale. and slam her up against, like, a wall, preferably a brick one, and say, bitch, how fucking dare you? How dare you? Like, this bitch is out here talking about how, oh, I don't want to be a tag, and my kids shouldn't be a tag. Bitch, was Lemonade even off before she posted that shit? I don't even know, because I saw it last night. I mean, I'm ready I to fight. It, like in the middle of the night. I'm ready to fight you, Rachel. It's nothing you can do to change that because, like I said yesterday on the review, I didn't even know who the fuck you were. I'm hearing that you're Dame Dash's ex wife and you're Kim Kardashian's best friend or some shit. Bitch, even but more the, reason for me the to The thing drag about you. it is with this Kim Kardashian's best friend, everybody is Kim Kardashian's best friend. Just even, I would say, even Lala and she says Kelly Rowland is too. Like, Everybody's her best fucking and friend. Tim. Right. So, whatever on that. My whole thing is, ma'am, don't I hate bitches mm. who like cry wolf. The thing is, we didn't know who you were. We were still singing about Becky with the good hair. Nobody needed you to put up a picture talking about good hair, don't care, bitch. Fuck, I don't don't care you. your good hair. Like, when I'm done with you, you won't have a fucking piece of hair on your body. I will fucking squeeze every piece of hair out every of your fucking, fucking body. Every fucking piece, bitch. Every fucking piece from the rooter to the tutor. I will snatch every piece out of your body. You won't have shit. Second of all, don't call me no motherfucking drama queen. What she is is a king of your motherfucking life, bitch. That's what she is. And you better be happy she protected you because if she would have said your funky ass name in that song, I wish she would have. It would have been worse than that. I like, you brought this upon have. yourself. I wish she would have. This fucking artist who's out talking about, oh, um, uh, Rachel Roy has canceled her, uh, next, uh, couple of appearances that she's supposed to have due appearances to personal what? personal issues. Ain't no fucking personal issues. You're feeling the stings, She bitch. probably ain't even canceled. The people probably was like, I'm sorry. You don't, don't fuck with Beyonce. You. I'm telling you, it might not be today. It might not be next week. It might not be next month, but your fucking life will never be the same. Don't ever come for Beyonce like that fucking Kari Hilson. I better not ever find out for sure that you're the reason. Ever. You see, Bow Wow don't have no fucking job no more. Fuck They around. fucking shut down. Blue Ivy fucking shut down a whole show. Like, your life can be ended, bitch. Don't ever play yourself. Kari Hilson can't put out a decent album for shit. She can't catch a decent fucking gig for shit. And I heard Sir J. Ibaka left the ass. So, I just don't know what's going on. I mean, it's been years and Carrie's career will never be... Look at Keisha Cole. And the thing about Keisha's it... Keisha's done. And she didn't even come for Beyonce. She came for fucking... Michelle. Michelle. It takes nothing. You don't come for the fam. Don't do it. Or fucking Kaya. 
My neck, my back. That bitch will never, ever, ever the thing is, that make it back. The hilarious as fuck anyway. She's not making it. And don't ask me to talk about no fucking Pierce Morgan because he's a racist Yo, dickhead. Pierce Morgan is a fucking piece of shit. And I added his fucking ass like, who fucking knows shit about what goes on in the United States of America and what the fuck we are fighting for? We still fight for civil fucking rights, bitch. You, right, what? I feel like... He gonna say her putting up Trayvon mother, Trayvon Martin and his mother holding his picture and um Mike Brown's mother holding his picture. It's a shame that she's doing that to sell fucking albums. Bitch, she don't have to do nothing to sell an album. That's not for an album. That's showing you that I see what's going on. I'm in tune with what's going on and I'm not fucking here for it. Cause black lives matter. Young lives matter. So let me put their mothers in here, and it was more than just their mother, you dumb prick, but she wouldn't know that. Yeah, and get Azalea Banks too, that bitch too. What'd she say because the other day she was just saying that she loved Beyonce. Wait a minute, let You me... know, I'm not saying shit to her because that bitch is fucking bipolar and she has Tourette's. And the thing about it is, people who are, like, have Tourette's and, like, if you have one, more than one illness like that, you're really strong and she may can fight me. But I will stab her ass. See, I just need to pull it up because the thing is, is that the reason I don't want to do, I, I never, if you notice, I never, ever talk about Azalea Banks because like Tanea said, the bitch is crazy. Like, like she's I really, really, it's really, that's just like, I think Tori was telling me that because she was saying how much she liked Beyonce because the about the god and the goddess that Beyonce is talking about one there like she can't believe that she's bringing light to it and she's a fucking priestess I said that bitch ain't nothing but a priestess of bad shit crazy that is it so the night that it came on she put lemonade is amazing I need to repent this is so good oh my god exactly what pop culture needed then, what's the 25th? 25th today? Yeah. Today, she says, just six months ago, you told every black girl in the industry to bow down. Now you want them to stick up for, now you want to stick up for black folk. Laugh out loud. I feel like Beyonce said, excuse me, little black bitch, come bow down because I'm Beyonce. No, she was telling your stupid black ass to bow down because you're a fucking hater. I'm just not going to deal with it. And that takes me into what I was telling. People, um, she she literally tweets for traffic to come to her page. She literally tweets for tweets. It's never about the music. Like, it's never about her music. Never. Never. Ne I don't even know a Zelia Banks song. And that's no shade. I don't. Tell me one. I don't know Tell any. Tell me it. I don't, I don't know the most popular one. I don't know none of them. Oh, I don't, I don't know Azalea. I barely know Pierce. And Rachel, I definitely don't know you. All of you bitches can go. All of you. Fuck all of y'all. And like I was about to say, going into when I was talking to my boo Tamika earlier, because she was just, you know, snapping about how it's just all these different people she here and saying shit. Her co-workers, her friends, little smart shit about Beyonce. Y'all, this is the time that they will test you and they Yo, will what, try they, you. Beyonce says something about haters in one of her songs like, haters, you can't touch me or you can't get near me or something like I that. I don't remember the words. I don't know them all yet. But like, I'm so Stay off of Facebook. It's nothing but, but morons. Old ass fucking clothes. Stupid ass, ass people ass there. motherfuckers See, who don't know shit. Number one, which y'all need to understand, especially about this Lemonade album, people cannot... I will repeat, cannot comp comprehend well. So you trying to explain it or try to defend Beyonce is just going to make the situation worse because another thing, most of the times they can't hear you or comprehend what you're saying. Right. So it's no way that they're going to comprehend that. So it's almost just going to be like a situation that's just going to piss you the fuck off. Second, most of these people who are talking are the people who only saw the HBO series and that was it. But of course that will leave you confused. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Why? Because they don't buy Beyonce music. They don't have titles. I, I just had to help Nene out because Nene is an old lady and sometimes she doesn't understand a lot. So basically what I said mom is okay at the end of one of Beyonce's videos it's an old lady talking talking about 
I, in her life, she was served lemons, and out of that, she made lemonade. I said, so if you listen to the different songs, Beyonce is talking about the different lemons that have dropped in her relationship with her man, with her mother, with her father, with her mother and her father, like all types of different things were lemonade. I mean, were lemons, which she made her album, Lemonade. Out of all that, I made some juice. Lemony, and I'm drinking it, and so are you. Mm-hmm. Like, and that that's the that that is it. It's not no four page fucking think piece. Mm. It's not no fucking autobiography. Mm. It's not mm-hmm. none of that. Beyonce got some lemons in her life. She made lemonade. We are now listening to it and buying it. That is it. Lemonade's never been so important to me, other than when I used to drink it at Chick Fil A, but. Oh, Jesus, that just made my throat burn. Thank now, what I will lemonade. say, and then we're going to go, Beehive, y'all, y'all, y'all really have to let, y'all really have to see. Because the thing is, I told somebody earlier, the Beehive goes by that rule, uh, pop off and ask questions later. Like, right. as soon as they heard Rachel, they didn't hear anything else. They didn't hear Roy, Ray, none of that shit. They just went to wherever they could get to and attack. You so, know what? They still really started attacking me because Rachel Roy, I feel like, because she went private. private. So they probably was like, oh, Rachel Ray must be the real pig right. or something like that. I don't know, but the thing is, y'all, y'all gotta listen a little y'all bit. Y'all gotta more. tell. I mean, and R- Rachel Roy and Rachel Ray, they're two different people, okay? Rachel Ray is a nice lady who cooks delicious meals. Just wanna grill her pork chops and for she y'all. has, yo, she has a great, a great show. Yeah. I personally think y'all should go to her page and apologize. Honestly, I mean, I'm not making y'all do that. But y'all need to slide in her DMs. Excuse me, Miss Um Ray. I apologize. I was trying to reach the slut back, the slut bucket, Rachel Roy. I didn't mean to type that. That's hey, okay. It's I okay to apologize. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Let's be friends. That I mean, you know what? I'll speak on y'all behalf. Rachel, if you're watching this, they they're sorry. They are. They didn't mean it. They, did. they were just so upset. They were. And like they were just seeing red. They yeah. didn't understand that it was a difference between Rachel Ray and Rachel Roy. So I'm here to apologize on their behalf. They are sorry. We are sorry. We apologize. I'm going to try for it not to happen again, but they're a little bit out of control. And the only person who can make sure this never happens again is Beyonce. So I have to get to her. But until then, I'm sorry. What is Rachel Roy, though? Like, is she... Okay, you said she's a fashion designer or something? No. I don't think she's a designer. Oh, no, no, no. I did hear... I thought she was like a stylist. But she. I heard that she did just come out with a new plus size line. And I wanted to look it up. But you already know how fuck I that am. Bitch. I don't fuck with nobody that fucks with B in a bad way. So I'm going to keep my fat ass in Fabulous 21. Okay, so what's her ethnicity? Is she white? Is she Puerto Rican? Is she black? Is she... I don't know what she is. See, I never looked that deep into her because the thing about it is I really never cared too much about Damon Dash since Aaliyah died. So... So the thing is, is that I went to the bitch's page today. Because see, this weekend I was too caught up getting caught up in lemonade. So I didn't have time for that. I went to Rachel Roy's page today and left her death threats. I did. And I just went through some of her pictures so I could just, you know... she still private? Feel this bitch. Yeah, no, she's not private no more. Oh, okay. I hope I was on the right page. Yeah, it was a check next to it. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was just trying to fill her out, and I could just sense a slut bucket in the air, so I quickly left off because I was getting disgusted. But, um, I will say to the person who asked me the question, I do feel bad that your children are in the tag. Indian American. I do feel, um, bad that your children are getting attacked, but at the same time, it's your response. It it was your responsibility to take your page off private as soon as you did. You should have never went private. But isn't that not to be confused with Rachel Ray? Damn. Is the lemonade stands up there? No, no yo, they took that shit off. Oh, she's a fashion designer. Yeah, now. Yeah, so the thing is, I feel bad that your kids had to get attacked too, but you should have never went private. And by you going private, we had to go to the very next thing. We had to hit home. You know? Blue Ivy's been picked on too. We don't like that either, but y'all keep fucking doing it. Right. So. 
Rachel, I'm telling you, your life is, it's over. Like, it's really over for you. You really played yourself. Like, your kids are going to be lames forever now. Like, I feel bad. I mean, they yeah, already have you a crazy father. Kids. They are so cute. They are. They're, They're beautiful. I, was saying, um, I don't know. Ava and Salula or something like that. Oh, no. Don't it's know. nice. They're cute little kids. And it's just sad that their mom is such a fucking idiot that, you know... So, yeah, we're going to go now. Um, I'm just, I'm ready to watch a little bit more of um, Lemonade before I watch Ratchet TV. But real quick, um, do you have a favorite song today? Anyone that's sticking out that you no, just can't get still, enough of? Still my, um, I really can't get enough of Hold Up because I, that's really, that's really my life. Like, that's really me. They don't love you like I love you. I've been trying to tell you for years that the, they don't love you like I love you. And the thing about it is, you don't give a fuck. What a wicked way to treat the girl who loves you. That upside down smiley face emoji is Beyonce that whole video. That whole video is the upside down smiley face. That's Beyonce. Like, that's exactly what the fuck she looks like. Um, right now I can't get enough of All Night Long. It just... I got such a... Oh, and Sandcastle. It's just such it's just a beautiful song. Oh my god. Okay, we have to go. If this is right, your first time, time watching... Go another review. Yeah, quick. If this is your first... I think I'm gonna name this video Lemonade and some more shit. Definitely. <laughs> if this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We'll be here every Monday and Thursday with an all-new video. We will actually be back this Thursday for an all-new scandal review. Right. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit. And this ain't never happened. My whole scandal life. Saturday was the rap party for scandal. Usually, I would have been all oh, over man. the internet looking for pictures and videos and some type of way for me to get in there. Half of the people have already, they're done. Like, Huckleberry Quinn just got done today. Like, they were saying their goodbyes to people. I didn't even know the scandal was wrapping up. I was so wrapped up in Lemonade. My God. I'm really fucking up. Okay, um, for the rest of you people who always watch, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show. Do not forget that the Formation World Tour starts this Wednesday, it's going down. I'm so fucking excited. If you're going to Miami or Tampa, send me some fucking videos. Tag me in them. Let me know what's happening. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. If you are going to Miami and Tampa, you need to follow my Snap. You need to follow my Twitter. You need to. We need to contact each other. I need to know. We might need to FaceTime too. I don't know. I'll see you guys on Thursday for an all new video. Unless something else happens. Take them out today. And if you didn't know, now you know, there's no show like a show. We will cuss that ass out with Beyonce. We will fight you. We will attack your kids. And that's just how we... Oh, I had one more thing to say. Sorry. I hope you all are still watching. Um, I got a DM today from Don Lou on Snapchat. Oh. But he sent me like six of them. He was just like, I'm sorry, but I'm having a fan moment. I just wanted to tell y'all how much I love y'all, how much I admire y'all. I think y'all oh are so God. pretty. Oh, my love. God. It was, and then I can't even talk. I can't even say how many because I have so many new followers on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So I keep getting all these random DMs of people saying how much they love us. And the number one thing that I hear people say, and then we're going to end on it. The number one people I keep hearing people say, things people say is... I just love how confident you two are. I love how high your self-esteem is. I love how, oh, he was saying, I love how Tanae will just pull out something to eat if she's hungry and not give a fuck. I love how you'll come on in and talk about how you have a beard and not give a fuck. I just love that about y'all. And I that's how I want y'all to be. It's so many people who have messaged me saying, I could never get in front of the camera or I don't want anybody to see pictures of me. When I get these snaps here, I got a snap today from a girl named, um, I think her name was Kimani, mm -hmm. maybe. But she was just saying how she couldn't wait to see the show. And I was just like, you're so beautiful. I love to see y'all beautiful faces. Um, Don't I feel like this. just in case, and to mention Sue Wright Journals, uh -huh. um, DM me today. Did oh, that's my girl. Me? That's Christy. I got to tell you about Christy. You don't, you, know her real name. you don't be in the comments like that. So, so I just you don't call know. her Sue Wright Journals. Sorry, that's Christy. That's Christy. Hey, Christy. Hey, Christy.
she, she just was like, I, I, well, you know what snap once you reply, it doesn't have it on there. But she replied too, and she was just like, um, where do I sign up? I'm a stand, like officially. And I was like, oh my God, we don't have a roster. But I'm just saying, like, it's so, the thing is, um, we definitely have ugly days where we feel like we ugly, but the thing, it's just more important to come on here and, be, and just like give y'all a video and have fun. It is what so, it is. So, like, it is what it is. Like, if I feel ugly, I'm just going to feel ugly. And that's fine. These thin-ass edges are not going to stop me from coming here. This Yo, double chin, this hair on my chin, this second my, stomach. I got these rolls that will lift back up. I just y'all about my fupa. Like, I got rolls on rolls on rolls. And it's fine. Last time I checked, wasn't nobody perfect. And the number one thing to remember is... Don't never play yourself or disrespect yourself because God created you. God made you exactly the way he wanted you to be. He made you the way he wanted you to look. Go on. Keep that in mind. And yes. also remember, there's people who get in car accidents and lose their whole fucking face. Their whole face gets burned to a crisp. You better. You better. I'll see y'all Thursday. Go up, girl. I think I already closed out.